Oh, what's up ladies and gents, and this is going to be a very quick video. I'm moving the Mission Editor series onto scripting tools, so we're going to start looking at the likes of Mist and Moose for DCS World. Um, primarily starting with Mist because it's what I know the most about. Um, however, I'm going to start this video with the way of a slight apology in the sense that it's been a couple of months since I put a video online. Solely down to November was Remembrance period, so being in the military I was you know, doing parades every other bloody weekend and December I've been very very busy um, therefore so I'm sorry I haven't made any bloody videos however we're going to try and rectify that now so this video is going to be simply how to install and basically upload mist into your missions so it's not really going to hold much on this mission editor however it's going to be a lot of outside um, Windows Explorer and you know getting the actual files downloaded so we'll do that then what we're going to do is we're going to cross off that that's not what I want I'm going to go on to the Eagle Dynamics forum. So as you can see, I'm at the top of the forum, main page, nice crystal King layout, lovely. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down until we get to the point where it says mission editor discussion and questions. We're going to tip that and then we're going to go into mission scripting tools. So that's missed. So we're going to press into that page and then you'll see it's basically a, a layout of what missed is and how we can use it to up our missions as such. But we're interested really in the uh, download latest version so we're going to press on that and it's going to take us to the um, download page so we're going to use the most recent version obviously which is still September 2016 but there you go we'll press into that and then all we're going to do is we're just going to download the bloody thing save it wherever you like mine's going to go in the downloaders folder and we're going to open the folder it's downloaded to so first thing you need is we will extract that extract it into its own, its own bloody folder I've already got it anyway so and once we open that up the biggest file we're worried about is mist 4374 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste that very quickly into my save games folder as you can see I've already got it so I'm just going to override the bloody thing I've got an older version even better there we go so now we've got the correct the newest version um, and what we can do is if we go back we just go back into what comes with the mist download and basically you've got the actual mist file which is what we want you've got some examples sort of different um basic mist functions as such and a guide if we open that up it basically tells you all different sections on how to use mist how to download it blah 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 blah, blah etc how to get it in your mission but we're going to quickly go over that now so effectively what we've got now is we have downloaded mist so now what we need to do is to place it into the mission really really simple and the way we're going to do that is we're going to open up DCS world so we're back into our really bare NTTR and quite simply we're going to press uh, go into our triggers and we're going to create a trigger it's going to be once you can name it whatever you want I normally name it mist and what I tend to do is I put it as a time more I just set it as like five seconds so time more set it for five seconds and then we're going to do do script the file that's what we want and then what we've got to do now is go to the section where the, the, uh, the file was so we go to missions and we go back to save games and missed 4.3.74 and all we want to do is ok that so what we can do to ensure that this has done the correct thing what we what we can do is just create a little message to pop up to the to um, the coalition the wall we just we'll set it as missed loaded and then we just put that as five seconds as well so we know it's triggered at five seconds and that is quite simply how we get missed um, basically installed into our mission so I'm not going to go into creating respawning enemy I'll go into that in the next video so what, what I'll do in the next video is I'll show you how to place one enemy group and to make that one enemy group respawn again and again and again every time it's killed or every time a certain parameter has been set so effectively what we've done now is we've shown you how to install mist into a mission um, all we'll do is we will quickly go into Z mission we won't save it and we'll just make sure that that message pops up and says mist's been loaded should load relatively quickly because there's nothing on the bloody map there we go so if we just click fly we should get a message in a minute it just says mist loaded and there it is which means mist would now be functioning within the mission so now anything we set after this would take effect with mist so things like respawns or captures or whatever it might be um, like I said I'll go into that in the next video and we'll show you how to get one group or 
a couple of enemy groups respawn and again and again and again. So we do a couple of uh, aircraft respawns, we do a couple of ground target respawns. I work, I'm work. i working on the theory that's probably the, the most that people are really going to want from this on a basic level. Obviously, if you start making like big multiplayer missions, then obviously it's going to be a bit more in depth. However, I'm going to start from the ground up as such. So we're going to go through basic respawns and whatnot first. Um, I will move on to Moose. However, I've not done a lot with Moose in the past, so I'm going to actually learn that as I go along. So I'll learn it, then I'll make a video on it, then I'll learn a bit, make a video on it, because I, you know, just give you guys the best of what I can. Um, so like I said, apologies for being away for a while. However, that should be all rectified now. Um, a real basic introduction of how to download and install Mist into your mission, and we'll build upon that in, in later videos. So thanks a lot, guys, as always, and I'll catch you later. Stay safe.